Um, this last weekend, I volunteered at Prospect Park um, to be a tour guide at the uh, Haunted Walk, which I, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It isn't, it isn't so much doing tour guiding, though, as much as it is making sure you usher about 8,000 people through a quarter of a mile as fast as you can and um, comforting children who start crying. Um, Good job. And I discovered, yeah, and I discovered that the key to keeping them from crying isn't to tell them that everyone, all the adults are pretending to be powerful and scary. It's telling them that they're dressed as powerful things and they can pretend to be powerful too and then they'll be mistaken for something that they're not. Um, and I learned that, I realized, because when I was their age, about four, I had a very bad experience going through a haunted house with my dad. Um, and he was not, he was not someone who pretended to be powerful. He, um, he, was, he was a great dad. Um, he, he worked as a public defender, and basically he spent all day with people who were either hard luck cases or shaggy dog series of bad decisions um, and he would have to take them into court and basically throw himself on the mercy of, of the court to decide what would happen to them. He didn't have even any power over them because a lot of times he would basically just need to convince them to plead guilty and they wouldn't listen and it would be a lot of negotiation. So when he would get home, he wouldn't want to argue or anything. He, he, he just wanted to be kind. He just, he just wanted to take care of us. He just wanted to be a good father. Um, he used to take us to the Children's Museum of Indianapolis all the time, and that's where we started going to the haunted house every year. The Children's Museum was giant. They always said it was the biggest in the world in Indianapolis. I don't know if that's true. Indianapolis does a lot of great things about itself. But... Um, <laughs> Beyond the actual museum, they had a little shitty building on the edge of the parking lot, and that is where the haunted house was. Um, and we would go to that, we'd stand in line. I was about four, and, and this first time that I remember, and he was carrying me. And we got into the haunted house, and I started to get a little scared, but my dad was carrying me. And the man behind us in line started making very loud noises and started screaming. And he was trying to scare his kids who were a little bit older. And he wasn't really succeeding. But he was terrifying me because he just kept on yelling and screaming. And I started crying. And I, was, I didn't know what to do because this adult was screaming behind us. So my dad, who's a patient person, figures, well, this is the Children's Museum, so I'll turn and talk to this man and ask him, my kid is getting scared, could you please be quiet? Um, unfortunately, uh, the man behind us wasn't a children's museum regular. My dad had mistaken him for a parent. Instead, he was more of someone who only took his kids to haunted houses and tried to scare them. So he started yelling at my dad then and calling him a pussy and threatening to fight him and shoving him from behind. Now, my dad played a few different sports in high school and he was pretty big. But he wasn't someone who really I could ever imagine being in a fight. So his reaction to most things like this is, I'm going to rush through this and it'll work itself out. I'll ignore it, I'll turn the other cheek in the Christian way you do in the Midwest, and I'll just rush through. So he was rushing through this haunted house and I could tell he was scared. I was being held by him and I could tell he was scared. And this man followed us through the whole thing, yelling at us the whole way through the through the, the hospital room and then through the, the mausoleum and through all the little rooms in the haunted house. And it couldn't have been much scarier actually than this room really. <laughs> but when I was four, it was a big deal. And then we got to the end of the haunted house finally and we threw open the door and it was the middle of the day because it was after church and the bright light came through and standing there at the end of the door was a police officer. And the police officer was just there to keep the peace. He didn't know what was going on. But when he saw my dad, he mistook him for someone else. Oh, no. And he said, hey, judge, how'd your family enjoy the haunted house? And my dad looked at him, shocked, because my dad's not a judge. My dad has never been a judge. But the man behind us in line, he took off running. <laughs> 
and he ended up at his car before we could do anything about it. And that's our story. Thank you. Great story.